Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Diddle finally, finally, finally back on the YouTube. I know I've been gone for a couple months. Uh, you know, we uh, not really an excuse, kind of just being lazy, grinding out MK1, playing a lot of MK1. And today we're going to be talking actually about the state of Mortal Kombat 1. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff going around on the topic. Obviously, a lot of people, you know, click baiting for titles. A lot of people hate mongering. A lot of people with actual genuine, uh, you know, uh, concerns about the game. So we're going to be covering all that today and more. So first of all, I'm going to give you my thoughts and then we're going to deep dive into all of the concerns that Mortal Kombat ha one has right now. And hopefully for the future, we can talk about what's to come. So my thoughts on the game specifically. So I played the game since release. I've put in, I mean, close to probably a thousand hours on the game already. Uh, and the game came out. What? came out in September, right? So obviously I have a lot of play time in the game. I, I would like to think I know what I'm talking about, right? So my thoughts on the game personally, I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a great game. I really truly do think it's a great game. That being said, there are blaring issues the game has that needs to be addressed. And I do believe that are being addressed. Number one, for me personally, online, Online is completely garbage day after day after day. Now, they are working on it, and I do agree that that's the step in the right direction. That's what they need to do because, if we're going to be honest, a lot of game studios don't even do that. So I do commend um, you know, WB and NRS for actually working on the stability of the online. But, I mean, even just with this Janet Cage update, we had a stability issue where we're dropping frames You know, a lot of the games. They did patch it. However, it still does happen, and they actually had to move pro competition back a month just because of that issue. So it obviously was a pretty big issue along uh, with the online play. Obviously, we don't have rooms yet. I know that's a big deal to some people. It's not really a big deal for me. Um, I don't really care about rooms, but I do think they are important. So don't think I'm saying they're not important because they definitely are. Um, also, crossplay was finally added. I do think that it was probably added a little too late. I do, like, okay, let's put it like this. I don't think, guys, they would ever, you know, uh, release a crossplay, you know, that was not ready, right? That That's the issue is that they didn't necessarily want to release it and it not be ready, right? Which, you know, you, you still have to fault them. It should have been there since release, and I and I know it should have been there since release because I'm I'm the biggest lover of this game. I would defend this game all the time, but I cannot defend that this game was released unfinished. That, that I mean, that's that's clear as day, right? This game probably needed six months to a maybe even a year of development before it really needed to be fully released. Now, the problem that I see with video games even today is it's becoming a more common occurrence, you know, throughout tons of AAA games because games are becoming harder and harder to make and budgets are going up and up, but the time frames for the release stay the same. That's the issue, right? You have all these developers that are just stressed, crunched for time, you know, having to release these games in a poor state, right? And I mean, there's no argument. MK was released in a pretty, pretty poor state, although I still think it's a great game. And people ask me, how could you say that? Because of the gameplay. The gameplay of this game to me is so, so, so much fun. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, <laughs> a lot of people disagree with that sentiment, especially with, you know, things like Storm Cell going around and things like that. But trust me, man, once you start fully playing a lot of the characters within this cast and fully expanding other than just playing, you know, maybe listen, if I played Raid and Kano all the time, I would be bored, too. I mean, there's, there's no doubt in my mind, I would definitely be bored, too. Right. But the thing is, is once you start playing the other characters, you realize that the passion was there when they made this game. It really was. They thought out a lot of this stuff, right? Of course, when you look at the flip side of that, when you look at competitive play, of course you're going to see the same thing over and over again. I mean, that's with any competitive fighting game. You know, that's any competitive game, period. Not even just fighting games, but if you look at games like Call of Duty, there's always going to be a meta of weapons. You're always going to see the same weapons on every team's loadout because there's always going to be a competitive meta. Now, people do tend to disagree, um, you know, that that there should be a competitive meta, but I mean, come on guys, we're in the year 2024, like information travels at the speed of fucking light now. So it's like, you can't really help that. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people, a lot of people's arguments is that like, 
you know, more and more the skill gap is closing with them fighting games. They're becoming easier. And while I do think they're becoming easier, I don't think it's necessarily a skill gap issue. Well, I think the problem is, is that everyone in general is just getting better. Everyone, like the base level of your casual player 10 years ago is vastly different than the base level for your casual now because you can just, hey, you want to learn how to play Liu Kang? Type in Liu Kang combos, Liu Kang optimal combos, how to play Liu Kang, and you're going to find hundreds of videos. You can watch tournaments every single day online on Twitch. I mean, there's tournaments literally every single day where you can watch people play and watch what people use and, and adopt their styles. And that to me is great, right? It ups the level of competition. It ups the level of everything, truthfully. So I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I do see from a casual standpoint how that could be an issue. I truly do. Um, uh, you know, maybe regarding to them being bored by watching the game because they see the same thing. But truthfully, you can't really help that when it comes to competitive nature. You can't. Um, what was okay so let, let's go into uh some more issues that a lot of people say the game has specifically um i know a lot of people talk about the look of the game i truly don't see that i i will defend that till the day i die people saying tanya's ugly like come on guys <laughs> like tanya is not ugly like by any means i i don't see where people get that from so i'm not even really going to go into that that much um as far as the looks of the characters, I think this game looks looks great. Do I think it looks better than MK11? I think it has a different art style. I think it has a completely different art style. Me personally, I think I did actually like the MK11 art style a little more. But that doesn't mean to say that I don't like MK1's art style. I do like it. It's just I did like MK11's a little more. That's just me personally. I think all of that is subjective anyways. Uh, but the look of MK to me is great. Now, the last thing I want to talk about as far as the state of MK is the modes, right? Everyone is saying that there's a lack of content for Mortal Kombat 1. I think that's a little bit, um, uh, you know, I think it's a little bit clouded when people say that. I, I don't truly know what they mean when they want fighting game content. I really don't understand what they mean. You look at games like Tekken, they have a story mode, they have online, and they have Tekken Ball, right? That's it. That's all you have. Right. You have your little lounge area. And while I do agree, that would be absolutely sick for Mortal Kombat. That's not really content. Right. You're not really getting much content out of that. Um, at the base level, this is a fighting game. I don't buy a fighting game for the online content. And I know that that's subjective. I know some people do buy. I'm sorry for the story or or side content. I know some people do. I know they do. Right. But you can't really complain. While Invasions, to me, is boring. I mean, come on, guys. Even when I played Mortal Kombat 11 almost every day of my life, I, dude, I might have done 10 towers in those four years, maybe. I mean, it's just not for me. And I understand that's subjective. But I don't understand the argument of lack of content. I truly, truly don't. I, I mean, it's a fighting game. You know, you go online, you fight someone, maybe play with your friends when they're at your house. That's it. You're playing a fighting game. Right. I don't go on Tekken to play Tekken ball. You know what I'm saying? I played it once when the game first came out, you know? Um, so I really don't, I mean, you have a full fledged story mode with this game. I mean, it took me like 10 hours to beat legitimately. It literally took me nine to 10 hours to beat, which is insane for a fighting game story. That is absolutely insane. Um, however, I do think they could add a little more spice. That's what I'm looking for is a little bit more, spice with the online play you know what i'm saying like with that sort of content right maybe add in um character ranks instead of just one singular rank maybe add in you know more ranks in general that would be another thing for people to strive for because i do believe that even within combat league elder god is a little too small of a thing like if i sit down i could get elder god in a single stream probably like five hours i could probably uh maybe six maybe six hours i could get elder god right there's no way i could do that on tekken right i mean there's tons of ranks on that game so i do think that could spice up the content a little bit it would definitely give people a lot more you know freedom to grind for you know maybe i mean dude who doesn't like ranking up you know what i'm saying who doesn't like doing that i mean it's a great it's a great thing to do um but as far as like the seasonal content for combat league and stuff like that, I think it's a great idea. I think they're doing great on it. I did not like the last season skins before anyone in the comments talks about that. I think the last season skins were pretty bad to be honest. Um, but that's just me. Right. So in my closing thoughts here, guys, I really think people need to stop like bullying this game so much. 
right? I mean, you see it all the time, man, like people just talking down on this game. And truthfully, guys, this is a great game with tons of potential, right? And it's, I do agree with everyone. Trust me, don't, do not get it confused. I do agree with everyone when I think this game was rushed. I truly, truly, truly believe that. And I'm in agreement with everyone that the game released in a pretty poor state. However, I don't think that's NetherRealm's fault. I really don't. I think, you know, I think that's probably WB's fault. Maybe, you know, miscommunication error, anything, you know, that, that you could think of, it could be right. But it was rushed. We know that for sure. Um, but I do think they're actually trying, man. And to be honest, boys, I've been a lifetime gamer. If a, <laughs> if a development company actually tries, that's more than most, right? At least they're trying to fix the issues that everyone is talking about. Prime example, man, people were so mad about the Ermac uh, look, right? The Ermac design without the mask. They put the mask on there. They put the mask on there for the release. We're seeing that next week. So they are listening. They are fixing these things. Of course, it's going to take time, man. These, you know, these companies have to go to WB. They have to go to their publisher to ask for these funds, right? It's not like they have these funds in a, in, in a bank account by themselves. No, they have to ask for funds to fix these things. They have to go through a board. They have to get approved. They have to, you know, actually then fix the issues once they get funding for the issues. So it's a lot more, I think, than what people realize. Although I do understand from a consumer standpoint, hey man, you paid for this game, you want what you want, and I agree with you. But I don't think it's as bad as what most people say. That's my arguing standpoint. And I would love to see what you guys think in the comments, man. I will talk with you guys all day about this. So please let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the state of Mortal Kombat 1. Hey, also, let me know who you guys have been maining. Let me know who you guys have been enjoying in the game. That way I can, you know, maybe see what you've been enjoying and try it myself. That way I can have a little bit more enjoyment out of the game. So much love, guys. I will be back to my either regular daily uploads or I'll be up to my, you know, probably, you know, every other day uploads because I am going to be moving here soon and I am going to have a new camera and a new stream set up. So the quality of the uploads are going to be insane, guys. They really are. And I'm super excited for it. Much love, guys. We will catch you in the next video, baby. Later.